So I drive a Mazda 3, and in this cool car, there's a built-in navigation thing, which is kind of utterly useless because it also has Android Auto, so I can just connect my phone and use Google Maps, which is infinitely better. But this navigation system is kind of interesting to me because it relies on this SD card right in here. And you can see me pulling that out. Totally just broke the navigation. It just doesn't work anymore. And these little SD cards that power the navigation system, I imagine they've got like a map on it and speed information and whatever, uh, but they're really expensive. I'll put the price right now for one of these exact SD cards on the screen because I'm not sure what it is off the top of my head, but it's just a freaking SD card. So I wanna see if I can clone this SD card to a regular SD card and then have it still work correctly on the nav system. I just wanna see if it works. Turns out this SD card is 32 gigabytes, and I'm gonna make an image of it using DD in Linux. Gonna compress it with gzip, and then I'll find a rando 32 gig SD card, and we'll try and restore the image and see what happens. Okay, we have our image. Now we'll just swap this guy out. Here's our donor card. It's a 32 gig SanDisk Ultra Plus. In she goes, and now we will restore it. Okay, it's done. Let's go see if we can scam the shit out of my car. All right, let's see. Let's see. Get scammed. Eh? Eh? Oh, that looks really weird on the camera. What's it gonna be? I don't think it works. What the heck? What the heck? Yeah, I don't think it works. Let's see. Let's put the OG back in. Oh, well, not even the OG one is working now. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait. No, it just popped in with the original. Okay, back out. Sand disk in. Okay, I'm gonna give it a second. Go to nav. Bruh. Huh. I wonder if somehow it's reading something more than just the data that's on here. Like it reads the manufacturer of the card or whatever. I don't know, dude, but it doesn't work. Update, it works. So the only thing I did different was I ran this particular tool on my computer after doing the clone. And then it said there was a map update and it updated and did all sorts of wacky stuff. Uh, and whatever it did, it made it work. So obviously I can't show you guys the screen because I would be doxing myself, but it does work. So all you gotta do if you wanna do this is use DD to create a backup, restore it using DD to a new SD card, then run the Mazda toolbox application. It'll do some wacky who knows what, and uh, then it just works. Very cool. This is a better ending than I expected. All right, that's it.